Friday. I just got done tattooing. We're going, we don't know where we're going. We're going to the strip just to get out of the house and go walk around. So, but something else that happened is I got this box. On this box, follow me on Twitter. Months ago, I said, they almost didn't fuck this shoe up. A week ago, Dirty Earn said, I think I like these shoes. <laughs> Yesterday, I hit up JC and said, are these comfortable? Yesterday, I ordered them off of eBay, actually, because they were the cheapest. Slightly over retail, but whatever. Uh, nothing crazy. And today they're here, because they ship from North Las Vegas. So if you're out there, Mr. North Las Vegas, thanks for the fast shipping. Appreciate it. Old time's sake? Old time's sake? Old time's sake? Nothing? Dang, you changed, bro. Look at these crazy boxes and tags. Nike overreact fly knit. Ispa. Ooh. Ooh. See this? This has got to come off right away. Coming off. It's pretty squishy. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, they look pretty cool. I gotta be honest. But this this swoosh is the only thing that I don't like. Easily remedied. All right, give it a shot. Let's go. This is pretty cool. How this laces up. That kind of goes in throughout the shoe. Look at these octopus suckers, bro. What is this thing? Oh, this thing can just come right off? Hmm. I better a razor cut that shit right the fuck off. If you pull this tab, it'll just... Whoa. Yo, these are crazy. What the fuck? I'm really about to step out with a pair of Nikes, an Adidas shorts, Adidas socks, and a Nike Suicide Cult t-shirt. 2020 in a nutshell. These are really fucking comfortable right now. Really comfortable. You ready yet? Shit. I got like a bounce in them. Even I've never tasted a dog, I'll get you that ad. That is good. I was so fucking thirsty from just <laughs> coffee and back to back joints. <laughs> nice. My mouth is dying. Nice. There you go. Kodo, it's steady. Mm. You know what I like? It does have good bubbles, but you can still chug it. Yeah, it's the chuggability. Like, yeah, I like that refreshing. Get that thing down. Yeah, dog. I drink things inside here because literally, if I have a <laughs> beer on my patio with the three minutes, yeah, it starts tasting warm. warm. Yeah. I woke up at 2 a.m. to go on a bike ride. What time did you go to bed? Uh, five? Yes, after your two hour long <laughs> nap. So technically, I went to bed at three? I technically also, I'm saying technically a lot, but also got up at really midnight. I just laid there and hung out. Panther Power and the Swirly Dragon are up for a pre-order until August 16th. I explained it in the podcast. I may have even explained it on the vlog. The amount of people who were upset with me about missing out on Swirly Dragon is unmanageable. And a few orders got fucked up with the Panther Power. So I'm just like killing six birds with two stones here. If that happened this morning to the 16th, you can order. Everyone, everyone in the world, not just friends and family. Friends and family, you guys got an email today too, and you got some more stuff coming. I got a draw, we got a lot of shit going on this week. Dirty Urns in LA, I'm not even gonna tell you about that. Mike Crispy is coming in town today, and then we gonna pick him up from the airport, and then I got tattoos coming in tomorrow and Wednesday, Saturday, so it's a busy week. We got a lot going on, and King Kong is still over in this corner and hasn't been painted yet. There's a lot to manage and we're gonna manage it all. But first, I'm gonna eat my sandwich. And don't get it twisted. I went on a bike ride at 4 a.m. because I'm a biker. Boom. The first collage sock sample. It's okay, I'm gonna do a little like uh, altering at least with, well I'm gonna try to alter a couple things but this is a, a tough one because people don't even want to stitch this design into a sock because it's just so crazy and a little too busy for an actual sock but this is the sock that I want to make and I don't want to sub dye it just because with like socks, sub dyeing sometimes just doesn't look that good when it's all stretched out. Uh, stitching can also deform stretched out but it looks a little better. The one thing that is a downside to this multiple stitching is all of this loose thread that you get on the inside. Well, not loose, but just thread that changes colors and there's a bunch of it. And so when you put your feet in, you might catch a little snag here and there the first time. So I don't really love that. So I'm gonna try and see if there's anything I can do about it. And yeah, just see what my options are. So I did a rip test. I tried to rip these. I was successful in ripping. They honestly didn't rip where I thought they were. I thought I was gonna be able to rip the heel right out and uh, didn't. It honestly just ripped from my hand, the strength of my hands. So uh, yeah, I'm testing the quality. I got a few different things coming. Uh, one thing that I'm doing is a new dab rig, or dab rig, sorry, a new dab pad. The last time we did a dab pad, dab mat, it was like a mouse pad slash dab mat. This time we're going to do a 12 inch dab mat through mood mats. Make things, but yeah, this sock sample, we'll see. 
see what happens. Working on a lot of things. Shoes. I bought a few pair of shoes now, this this week even. So, we're on a real battle here. I kind of talked about it on the podcast about the shoe. Nike Overreact ISPA. Now, I don't know what the fuck ISPA stands for at all. Of course, I could look it up, but I have not. Improvise, scavenge, protect, adapt. Military issued, you know, like, here's your ISPA. Here's your... Here's your assigned ISPA, sir, when we go to the COVID camps or something. Anyway, um, the shoe itself, like, okay, everybody knows, <clears throat> not a fan, usually, ah, of Nike. I'll tell you one thing, you can't pull these motherfuckers off without a strap. Uh, normally not a fan of Nike. I feel like we've been comparing, or I at least been comparing everything that's come out to Ultra Boost or Boost. Nothing has really held up to me. Now I got one shoe on, one shoe off, and I feel crazy. Uh, people have been having me try different shoes. You should try this, you should try that. I've tried a few different things. Nothing, you know, during walking really ever gave me the same experience as Ultra Boost. So, or any really like, yeah, Ultra Boost, NMD, you know, it's a free hiker, whatever. I saw photos of this shoe and liked it immediately before I knew it was even a Nike. The swoosh, of course, I don't like. But the, oh, it's starting to peel, baby. Hold up. Oh yeah, that's off. Oh, that's off in no time. Look at that. It's like the fucking stretchiest vinyl, too. There's just gonna be a little black glue swoosh there. Glue swoosh. I just like glue swooshes. So, yeah, the swoosh is coming off. These are super cool for a lot of reasons. The upper could be better as far as, like, coziness goes, but it's not bad. Well, this thing just snaps right off and is pretty pointless, but it's, fl it's flare, dog. I mean, once you take it off, you notice that this little flappy flare kind of need it. You can't really even tell what it says. You can barely see the swoosh. I don't know. It might come off, too. The ankle collar is not the most comfortable. It has that kind of like mesh NMD vibe where it's the uh, nylon that just sort of rubs a little bit. If this was a little more elastic, perfect. With no-show socks, you get a little bit of rub. There is a pad inside of there to help with the rub. Faux suede, but uh, it's not enough. Uh, this little vent down here is really clever. I like this vent. The octopus pad, the patented Nike octopus pad is super sick. It's fly knit, which this is my first pair of shoes with fly knit. It's, I don't like it as much as prime knit, but it's, it's, it's close enough it's a little more coarse the non lacing factor is amazing pull strap that tightens all the way throughout the shoe pulls even this closer it's super clever and super sick and I really like not having to tie my fucking shoes that is a little restrictive is this toe guard thing that comes across the top you can kind of pinch your toe a little bit so if you have a wide foot which I do not have I think people assume because I'm bigger that I got a wide foot but dog I got perfect 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 my arches are perfect so this piece can be a little constricting and it's not necessarily my favorite if this was made of something just a little more stretchy it might be better i don't know but it's okay it doesn't bother me brains down here they react definitely crazy i mean you definitely feel a response some people were complaining about their reacts that they didn't have enough energy response like an ultra boost i don't really know I never tried it. But these do have a response, specifically like in this area. You definitely feel like a little bounce to your step, you know what I'm saying? It's in there. Fulcrum points here have something to do with that. I don't really know. But the brains are really comfortable, super squishy. They're, they're pretty comparable Ultra Boost so far. I don't, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. I was going to say I don't think this shoe is so sturdy, but the lockdown on this shoe is really nice. You're straight up locked in, baby. Cockpit locked in. The insole is basically just a piece of, the, I don't know, fucking nylon. And then it's just straight brains, dog. Brains and squish. So these are really sick. Like, I really, really like them. Really, really like this shoe. The colorway's sick. I'm going to get the swoosh off. I, I really fuck with them. I know that they're ugly, but I like ugly shoes, you know? So... This has uh, been my favorite shoe of this year, of 2020. Could it get any weirder? I don't know. Expensive. They're 180 bucks retail, so they're pricey. You know, you know. I don't know if it's worth 180 bucks. And you probably have to pay a little bit of resell on this one because they are sold out. I'm pretty sure in the United States. I do here in Europe, they are not. But I don't know. Which brings me to this morning. I bought a pair of Adidas. Shout out to the plug. I got them for 50% off. But it's the new Adidas Terret. I don't even know the fucking The new, this, this is all, I don't know what's going on. You know, I don't know if I'm just bored. I don't know if, uh, honestly, like for me, it's just interest, I think. Like, you know, all jokes and ridiculousness aside, which I'm a ridiculous person, wanting for something new, uh, not hype. I don't really feel like these have much hype. Anyway, hype lasts about like three days. The real mainstream hype stuff sticks. But anyway, I guess I'm just thirsty for, you know, something new to check out. There's a new Ultra Boost 2021, which I'll probably at least try a pair because it at least looks way better than the 19 and the 20. Um, but the shoe today that I got is the Terex 
two ultra parlay trail running shoes. So these joints right here with that yellow and that zigzag crosswalk zebra off-white pattern. <laughs> It's not off-white. It actually doesn't remind me of off-white at all. I just said that to be a dick. It's fragmented, but no fragment. These look interesting, you know? The laces. I like shoes with no laces. I don't these these right here with the little straps got me fucked up, bro. I like them. But I am interested to check these out, see how they go, see how they are. And if I don't like them, I got them for pretty cheap. I'm sure I can sell them, turn them, whatever. I guess I should call them overreacts because ISPA is a lot of different things. My, I have a new theory about shoes. And if you've seen, look, Kanye West's on a timeout for me right now. But if you've seen the DZ, Yeezy Croc, I don't even know what those things are called. The other ones are called. But anyway, if you've seen that, which I'll put a picture up of it or whatever. It looks like, I don't even know how to even explain this, like a mouth, like you put your foot into a system is all encompassing around your foot so that the upper essentially disappears. The whole point of a shoe, I think, these days is just to connect your foot to the midsole. Boost models that came out, I would start to like that you were sitting down inside like a cradle of Boost, which in this you're sitting down in this cradle of React, and there's a lot of it, which is probably why they call it the overreact. My theory of what's happening and what will probably happen, especially if like, what if you're, pr if you're printing shoes at home, it may end up being like, which I think we eventually will be printing shoes at home. This could be a way be transitioning from knit products into the home rubber plastic whatever tpu products anyway i think that the future of it is to sit down inside of something like a pillow or a mouth i don't know why i chose mouth that's just where it feels like it's going trying to get connected to the fucking bottom of the shoe and the upper just gets in the way of that so if there's this all-encompassing sort of system that's like a pillow all around you can't really feel it and this is all reacting which it seems like no pun which you're bouncing and there's like a you know an experience i think that's just what people are gonna want i think that's the future of like comfort you know maybe it's not the best for running and shit maybe it is it's clear that we will accept things that are disgustingly ugly you know but how comfortable are they is the question and if they're more comfortable than anything you've ever worn it could be a very futuristic look You know, Crispy must not fly very much because this man thought he had to print out his ticket and he also thought when he got to Seattle for a layover that he could just leave the airport and just walk back in without having to check with security. We're uh, sitting dirty out here because we're not supposed to be parked, but we're breaking the rules right now because whatever. It's a bullshit rule. Gotta make sure 5-0 don't pull up on us, dog. I'm at door two right now. Door two? Or at Pillar 2. T1, Pillar 2. You're not out here. Hold up. Do you know where I'm at? My friend's trying to pick me up and he can't find me. <laughs> you know How do you explain where I'm at? Terminal 1. Terminal 1 passenger pickup. I told him that. That's where I'm at. What? what? He said that's where he's at. What pillar are you standing in front of? What pillar am I standing in front of? Okay, hold on. Okay. Six, five, all right, all four. Right. I'm coming down to six, I guess. You're on the wrong goddamn side, son. On the wrong damn side of the fucking thing, Crispy. Motherfucker, That's dude. Yeah, what's up, kids? <laughs> Yo, dude. That fucking plane ride, cuz. Holy shit. Well, I dropped Crispy off yesterday. And now today, Vegas gets to you quick. Crispy, Vegas got to him real fast. He went to sleep and did his wandering around Vegas thing. I'm going back to the airport right now to go pick up Adam, who I'm tattooing today. And also probably Crispy.
like, and I wasn't expe- like, I'm a, like, I'm a dude. Like, I've been on a plane before. I've never gotten sick. Like, fuck, I'm not taking nothing. Like, I'm right, not gonna yeah, get yeah, sick. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. cool. Except when the turbulence, no, <laughs> it was so bad. Like, the, the plane never stopped moving. It was, uh, it, I felt like I was gonna die. Bad. And I grabbed the, the thing, like the throw up thing, and I looked around and everybody was holding them. Really? The bags? The bags? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody the bags. had them. And I was like, like, it's not just me. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I felt like a pussy. I was like, am I really a fucking pussy? What pussy am I right now, right? And I'm looking around, <laughs> and dude, you're still a, a pussy. Everybody else is a pussy too. Yeah, really? Like, 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 <laughs> no, there was a dog. There was a fucking <laughs> seeing eye. <laughs> The seeing eye dog had a bark bag. He's like, the seeing eye dog had one, so then I knew, I knew who was all good. I looked over and the, the seeing eye dog was just chill. Like, not a care in the world, dude. He had his head on a pillow and he was just looking at me like, <laughs> Oh, there she is. She hates me. I'm so sorry. Yo, that's the softest fur ever, too, right? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome when I make a wallet out of it. Keychain? <laughs> Money bags. Four. Four, four keychain. Key key what, what flavor is that? Banana. Let me see what a banana Kit Kat tastes like. You're not ready. I am, dude. Whatever. You're not. I was born to eat this. Yo, and kick, yo. Hold up. In Japan, they make these uh, childproof young drones. Hold up. It tastes like banana. <laughs> it's really good. It is. It's the best Kit Kat there is. Huh? I think I would like it if it was tasted like uh, green tea or something. Nah, I mean, fuck a green tea Kit Kat. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you fucking Amazon bullshit. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Yeah, taste that. Tell me it's not the best Kit Kat you've ever had. That's pretty valiant, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'll lie, but not about this. It's pretty good. It's the OG rare shit, dog. No, you don't get those. It's Tell like knows about all the underground. It's like avocado rustoleum. Kit Kat got a new candy bar coming out. Got glitter in yep. it. Yeah, my next banana chocolate. Come on. Yeah, my next collab. Yo, is, yo, is this me right now? Yeah, look at it. Yo, yo, when I come to Vegas, son, <laughs> you see these situations? Yo, look, yo, that's pumpkin, that's pumpkin mache right there. Yo, right, yo, right here, dude. Yo, guess what kind of crab that is? Last time I checked, it was king. Uh, this boy's not playing. Yeah. We got the Adam. Gary. Adam. We got the Topo. Uh, Adam's not playing either. But this man just went crazy. Yeah, dude. Guys. He goes neoned out. Yeah, you look great. I'm ready. I have That's yeah. a fire fucking fit. Dude. Yeah, I have <laughs> shout out to Ben. LA. No, we're not doing shout outs no. on the vlog. What is this, Kais Omar's out. channel all of a sudden? No. We're hanging out with JC one day and now no. we're doing shout outs? No. If I pulled your mask off, would you hold your breath? Like, just no, yank no, it. No. <laughs> Brought Brandy out. Brandy's seen outside the first time in six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when I explain to people what, what happens. Sometimes you just come out and hit. When, uh, we, when we come to casinos, like, like when I when I came, it was like high roll red carpet. Like, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. And then I just win? Like, yeah, this is how you do it. Double up. Let's see what we got right. over here. Did you win? No. No. <laughs> no. But I haven't really lost yet. I'm up and down. Okay, okay. Just went down. Hey, 23, again. 23 again. Damn, dude. I should have done it again. I keep betting <laughs> on black and 17. Yeah, which, which one <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting on a... Jesus. Let's not destroy the King Kong. King Kong is resting. Hello. The swooshes, they're gone. I peeled them off pretty much on the vlog, I'm pretty sure. Swooshes are gone. Little update after walking six, seven miles yesterday. Knee shoes. The back heel can rub a little bit if you're wearing no-show socks. Anyway, I just dyed the, uh, the labels because I'm petty like that. I just don't want the swooshes. You know, if you're in shoes for snacking, snacking? Snapping. If you're in shoes for snapping neck abilities or causing confusion where people don't know what the fuck they're looking at. Silly, but it's a fun game to play with yourself. You know, taking the labels off of shit, people are really confused. They look down, they don't know what the fuck it is. So, so I'm getting ready for a tattoo, got a swirly dragon to do. So it's a quick one today. I drew this geisha for this weekend. Finish it up, but that's this weekend. Uh, Dirty Urn clearly has now faced his fear to go outside. I convinced him to meet us at the casino. After that, he went and got a steak dinner. For right now, tattoo. I'm about to make up some goddamn lunch. Fucking chicken. You guys are chilling. Oh, and we bought an exercise bike. An, a smart bike, not a Peloton. It's on the way. And podcast tomorrow, Thursday. Dirty Urn has some explaining to do.